Aquarius, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. Thank you for being here. I hope you're all doing well. Let's check your energy for October, November 2022. For November 2022, there will be a part two. I'll get more into that in a minute. I'm doing the Psychic Tarot giveaway. For those of you that are brand new, you want to check into that, you want to get into that, absolutely free to enter. And if you're one of the lucky winners, I will ship it to you anywhere you're located. Um, I will pay the shipping. It's no problem. I uh, had a lot of decks that were graciously donated by Usagi, one of the moderators of the channel. She's absolutely amazing. And um, she donated. There's a brand new deck in here. This is my deck I'm going to use so that you can see what they're like. But there's a brand new deck in here and it's virtually untouched. It's only been shuffled and put back in. And um, yeah, so get in on that. All you need to do is hit the like button for me and hit the notification bell so that you're notified if you're one of the lucky winners and subscribe. It's absolutely free to do so. Let me know again in the comment section who you are, that you are interested, okay? At the end of this month, I will announce the lucky winner on a short video of where I pull the name out of the lucky winner. So if you wanna get on that, that's all you need to do. Let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna concentrate on your overall energy using the Psychic Tarot deck of mine. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you. So if this resonates, again, there will be a part two. That information is down below in the description area as well as the comment section if you'd like to take advantage of that. If you become a part of the Shacey Spiritual Warrior membership family, you get unlimited part twos. And you can check your other placements as well. So if you know what they are, then perfect. You can go in the playlist and check out for your other placements. If not, you can um, go to astrosofa.com or Google search free birth chart and you can definitely find that out. I highly recommend it because when I look at my sun sign and I look at my rising and my moon, I get a complete picture. Uh, it really does help to make a lot of sense for most of you. I feel that you will also find the same thing, okay? So part two, I will dig deeper and sneak peek into the month of November. So if you choose to do a one-time purchase, that will be at the end of this reading, top right-hand corner. It'll say part two, watch now, and then you don't need to purchase a membership. That's an inv individual, okay? All right, let's get into it. So some of you are definitely thinking, you know, you're going through this transformation. You're trying to discover what it is that you want. Uh, this, is a tr this transformation can be quite... Um, emotionally draining on um, many of you here but it is going to bring you the recognition and the happiness that you deserve that you're looking for some of you may be you know really focusing on leaving the past behind you're not happy uh, a lot of you are kind of looking starting to look outside the box you're, you're going through massive internal changes here and that's okay uh, I feel like you know, you you want to go where you're appreciated, and that can be work, it can be home, it can be family, it can be relationship here. You're going through a lot of internal changes here, okay? So I feel like a lot of you are kind of, you know, getting your mojo working, you're starting to think, okay, what's out there for me? What can I do? Uh, again, that can be creating a new uh, business opportunity for yourself. Uh, where again, you're going to get recognition, you're going to get rewards for the effort you put in. You're going through a lot of changes here. Okay, uh, so it's, it's kind of like you're leaving the past behind, you're realizing that you don't need to live in the past that you can move forward here and have victory, success and happiness. Definitely feel like many of you uh, have been going through these changes for quite some time. You're a fixed sign and you don't always welcome changes, but spirits telling you regardless. Uh, this will allow you to create something new in your life here, something that you're passionate about. Again, whether that's a relationship or creating a new business, going after new job opportunities, something that you love here. Yeah, there you go. It's going to bring financial um, and material changes that uh, will also bring you that recognition and rewards. So I feel like Spirit's telling you, if you have something that you're passionate about doing, something you've always wanted to create, it will bring you financial changes here. Uh, and I feel like, you know, uh, it'll bring you the satisfaction that you're longing for. Your spirit says it's your destiny here. Have the hope and faith within yourself that you can make these changes necessary. You can go through these changes and come out on top here. Not to worry, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, spirit's just telling you to make wise choices. Don't allow yourself to be overcome with uh, confusion here because there's so many different directions you could choose to go. Spirit's telling you to take one thing at a time and concentrate on one thing at a time that's important to you. And again, I, I tell often uh, everybody, especially my um, personal clients, 
I tell them to do a vision board, okay, because that can allow you to kind of do the pros, the cons, um, see what are the possible outcomes, or if there's a certain career, like let's say you want to own a restaurant, you know, a certain type of restaurant, whatever the case may be, do your research and start doing the pros and cons of doing that, how much it costs versus how much you get in, how much time you have to spend, uh, or whether it's a workout business, um, you know, health and fitness. Um, I'm getting all kinds of messages for you guys here, but uh, spa, some of you could be spa treatments. Whatever the case, Spirit's telling you to make one decision at a time here and stand your ground. You may have to stand your ground for what it is you want. Stand up for yourself here. Uh, there may be others that kind of oppose to what it is that you're wanting. Again, whether this is relationship, whether this is uh, a passion, something you're passionate about creating and other people are like, well, why are you doing that? Or why, you know... Uh, that may create some confusion for you as well and put you off. But Spirit says you are meant to go after your destiny here. This is what you're meant to do or, you know, create in your life here that's going to make you happy. Um, and you're not always going to be able to make everybody happy. So sometimes you have to agree to disagree and stand your ground here. There's something that you're very passionate about creating in your life. Then, you know, fight for it, Spirit's saying. Fight for what it is that you are passionate about creating. Um, let's go ahead and keep going here. What are the messages here, please, for Aquarius for the month of October? Advice and guidance for Aquarius. What are the messages? Leave me comments down below as well. Let me know how this resonates for you. Okay. Never be afraid to voice your truth as truth comes from a deep place within your soul. So again, you know, stand your ground, fight for what you want. Okay. Be passionate about what it is you want. Uh, again, not everybody's going to agree with those things that you want. And that's okay. They don't have to. We can agree to disagree. You're not always going to be on the same page. That is just not real life. Choose one thing at a time. And uh, Spirit says, let go of the outcome. So you will be released from the burden you carry. So don't have certain expectations. Allow yourself to get disappointed. Work on one thing at a time and be passionate about it. Put everything you can into it, but don't have a certain massive expectation. Um, just work your hardest, do your best, and that's all you can do, okay? Top of the deck. Love always supports you and aligns with your true purpose. So if you have true love in your life, it will always align with your purpose. You want to be with somebody who's always going to support whatever your hopes, dreams, and wishes are, okay? And I feel like as long as you're making wise choices here, you will be absolutely okay. Let's use the Aquarian deck. This is a 1970s Aquarian deck here. Uh, so they are 50 years old now. It's 52 years old. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. What are the most important messages they need to hear? So in part two, I will focus on sneak peeking into November. I'm going to pull messages from whoever it is that is on your mind romantically. We're going to look at love. Okay, because again, this can be career, this can be love here as well. It can be a soulmate here that you're passionate about that you need to stand up for. Or it can be something, I'm mostly getting something you want to create here in terms of um, recognition, standing up for, you know, a position or uh, something you want to do in opening your own business. Yeah, we've got two messages here of leaving the past behind. It's been very stressful. I want to move forward to where I can have, be recognized for my efforts, where, you know, I can be in charge, where I can create something that I like. I can create something that makes my soul happy here. This is definitely um, leaving that past behind here. So there may be people, places and things that you're going to have to leave behind. Some of you may actually have to relocate and people may not like it. Maybe there's a job halfway across the world in Greece or Rome or Portugal or Canada or the United States or Australia, somewhere in Germany that you want. Um, you know, when you feel a calling to go there, then go. For others of you, you're moving, you're leaving the past behind. You're leaving someone in the behind, behind and there's somebody else you want to take out here. Somebody that, you know, floats your boat. Somebody that you um, see romance with, you feel is your destiny, your soulmate here for some of you here, okay? Somebody who has kind of got that start going in your soul here, you're feeling passionate about. Um, could be a high priestess here, but this can also be that you're keeping kind of silent about it. You're keeping to yourself here that you're um, leaving the past behind. But I also feel like you're really trying to trust your intuition on what decisions to make here moving forward. Okay, let's clarify the high priestess for Aquarius. Why is the high priestess here? Okay, 
So this is going to leave somebody feeling let down, um, betrayed, hurt. This is a, a, an ending to a painful situation or cycle in your life, but it's going to allow you to leave the past behind. I feel like where you've been has been very stressful and you feel like you've kept your, your pain a bit of, you've been keeping this pain inside you silent. You haven't been talking about how you're really feeling. Maybe you've been coming off as a bit defensive lately. And if you are, Spirit is saying it's because you've been very stressed and you've been wanting to create something new in your life. And you feel um, you're going through a transformation. And that is why. Spirit's telling you to go slow. To take it slow. To make wise choices. I'm getting here quite strongly here. Because you want to go to where what it is you're creating is, is going to be stable for yourself. That could be one of your big concerns as well. Yeah, definitely. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here. Financial and material changes. So this change is all destined for you. Everything that's happening for you is faded. You're meant to go through this transformation. Go and create something new in your life. Um, and I feel like you're going to have to deal with the karma, the aftermath of what you're leaving behind because there's a painful cycle that you're leaving behind here. But you have to deal with that. Spirit is saying that this is the turning point in your life where you're going through this transformation and it's going to be painful, but it's also going to open up this doorway of possibilities. You will be able to travel. You will be able to create what it is that you so wish for. Okay, you'll be able to leave the stress behind. Yeah, this is about a balanced, equal give and take. You're looking for an equal give and take here, but this can also represent that you are giving to more than one situation. And now you're going to have to deal with that. So your advice here is to go slow, go careful, and make wise choices for the future. Okay, we are going to go ahead. We're going to start sneak peeking into November um, Aquarius, I really appreciate y'all being here. Don't forget again about the giveaway. This is a psychic tarot. It's absolutely free. Just hit the like button. Subscribing is free. Notification bell so you're notified at the end of the month if you're one of the lucky winners. You can tune into that. I'm going to pull a couple of tarot charms before I let you go. They're one of my faves to do. Yeah, definitely. There's something new coming into your life. We've got the baby carriage here, okay? This can be family. It can be a birth of a child. It can be a birth of a new idea, like you want to create something new for yourself here. Uh, we have the dog. I feel like you're going towards something that you are loyal to or you want to be loyal to here. I feel like you're shedding your old skin here with the snake because we have transformation here as well. So this is your transforming. Maybe you kind of used to be, you know, um, or whoever you're dealing with used to be kind of not so honest and we're shedding that skin to become very loyal. It can be because you haven't been happy where you are. Again, vice versa, flip the energy. But I mostly feel like the snake is about the transformation. We have to shed the old skin in order to, to go after our new, um, newfound, um, destiny here this is going towards your destiny towards your happiness creating something that makes your soul happy so you have to shed your old skin here okay and this is about your ships coming in okay you are the driver of your own ship so it's about which direction do you want to go and being honest about it this will give you an equal give and take a bounce this can also represent that um the six of pentacles is getting over the point of where like perhaps materialistically uh, financially, you've been going through some hardship. This is about starting to even things out and balance your checkbook, your life, and your overall well-being here is what I'm getting, which is fantastic. So, And for some of you, this definitely can be that you have a water sign or an earth sign um, coming in towards you here. And you're going to have to um, let one or the other go here. And that's a choice you have to make here. You may have not kind of been making a choice or a decision in which direction to go here one requires perhaps that you relocate for some of you here most definitely but definitely I feel like spirit is telling you you know you have a lot of things on your plate and you need to figure out what you want to do one person is perhaps going to feel really let down here with the ten of swords it's 
it's uh, definitely, um, you're going to need to balance things out in your life and make choices here. And it's going to be very transformative for you. To, Spirit is telling you to stand up for your choice. So let's dig into November. Let's see who or what it is you're dealing with moving forward here and what action should be taken, advice and guidance messages. We're going to dig into the energy and see who or what is affecting your energy for November. Thank you very much, Aquarius. Again, I wish you nothing but the very best. I hope all your dreams and wishes come true always. And I will see you all again next time. For those of you seeing me in part two, I'll be right there. For those of you seeing me next time, I'll see you in approximately a week, give and take. Namaste. Bye for now.